So, Sierra Leone. 11 years of civil war killed at least 50,000 people and forced half a million from their homes. Diamonds, right? Rebel fighters enslaved locals to dig for so-called blood diamonds. Natural disasters. We've just been to the site where the mudslide happened on Monday. The number of the missing is still unknown. A crowd of people had gathered near a fuel tanker that had been involved in a collision. A bus full of people nearby was completely burned. Health crisis? Go to the deadly Ebola outbreak. The world is losing the fight against Ebola. Rape and gender-based violence? Five-year-old Khadija Soko was raped and killed in Sierra Leone in June. On this note, ladies and gentlemen, I therefore declare rape and sexual violence as national emergency. What if I told you there is a different Sierra Leone than what the media has led us to believe? This is Sierra Leone. Good morning, it is day 32 of the 520 mile walk and we are in Bomboy. And this morning, it's about 2 a.m., it is extremely early and I'm honestly already looking forward to going back to bed once we finish the walk today. I believe our plan today is to walk about 20 miles so that tomorrow we have about 20 miles to get into Port Loco. The nice thing is, is we are starting early, so chances are we will not have to deal with the sun. Part of our strategy now is to start earlier because the sun is so much stronger in this part of the country that even by 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, the sun is so extremely strong that it's hard to walk. But everyone's packing everything up behind me. I'm going to do a little stretch and try to wake up and then we're going to get on the road. So we are about 14 miles in today and we just met up with Hindalo at the police checkpoint and we learned that Detima, a few miles back, actually collapsed to the floor and was brought to the community hospital. We think she's probably dehydrated or just exhaustion from walking so much. And, you know, I applaud these girls because this is a crazy human feat for anyone to accomplish walking 400, 500 miles. So I'm really hoping she's okay, gets an IV in her and that we can continue on. But I think we're just gonna rest here for a little bit and and wait for some updates. So we hung out at the police checkpoint for a couple hours, had some food, got a little bit of rest, and now we are back on the road. Detima is gonna stay back with Matu, her sister, and just rest until she feels better. The boys are behind us with the bikes, getting everything ready. We talked to the officers and it sounds like Port Loco from this point is only about 20 miles. So we're gonna do another six and then possibly push for more in the evening so that in the morning, we only have a couple miles to get into Port Loco. But either way, it's overcast, so it's not too hot out. Temperatures are nice and we're just taking our time now for the rest of the day. Good 
morning, sir. How are you? Good morning. Morning, sir. So we just pulled up to a very small village here and asked them if there was any more of the village back into the bush and they said no. So we asked what the next biggest town was and they said it's right around the curve, which could mean anything from a mile up to four miles because of the way that, you know, people gauge distance here in West Africa, as we've learned. So we're going to continue walking probably another mile or two, hopefully not four, and then rest into the afternoon. So after resting for a couple hours, we are back on the road. Detima has made a miraculous full recovery. I can't cheat anymore, I'm not feeling good. Somehow, she always pulls through and feels better, magically. <laughs> but we're grateful that she's back and that she is okay. We have a couple other people behind us who have joined us from the village of Mandima, where a lot of these boys, that's their home village. So we're happy to have a couple more people on the team for this final week walking into Freetown. We are heading about about six more miles before we stop tonight, which will give us just about seven or eight miles in the morning to head into Port Loco. Good evening, we are in Kabata Junction and today we walked a total of 30 miles. <sighs> After we got here, the team set everything up and they went into town, Port Loco, which is just about five miles away to get some supplies for dinner. And we made sake, which is cassava leaf, which as you know, is my absolute favorite. So we are gonna dig in and then head right to bed. Tomorrow we only have about five miles to get to Port Loco and then we will be spending two days there before heading the rest of the way to Lungi and into Freetown to finish the walk. <laughs> 